Paulus. Paulus. Hello. Hello, Duck. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight, Duck? I am fine. How are you feeling? I'm doing. I'm fine too. So, have you finished eating your dinner now? Yes. Okay, very good. So, what are you doing right now? I don't do it. You're not doing anything? Yes. Okay, very good. All right, so, well, Duke, for tonight, we're going to have a new lesson, okay? Um, uh, what, what? Okay. What? Okay, so I'm going to, I'll, we are going to have a new lesson to learn, okay? Okay. All right, so let's begin now, Doug. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now, Doug, this will be our lesson. It's Unit 44, On the Sand and by the Sea. Can you say it one more time? Unit 44, On the Sand and by the Sea. Okay, very good. All right, now, Duke, so look at the picture. Tell the story. All right, so now, Duke, you can see here four different pictures. Now, I want you to tell or make a story about this one. Okay, start with number one, Duke. Uh, my family go is the beach. Mm -hmm. I and my brother swim. See the shell. But, uh, but I have... I don't know. I don't know that. Mm, you just have to make a story. So in picture number one, what can you say? Play the ball. Playing the, yes. In picture number one, you can see there a family on the beach. And then there are two boys who's playing a ball. Okay, how about number two? Uh, it's swim. Swim and see the shoe. Okay, so they are swimming and then? What? And then? And and then see the shell. They I they see a shell. Yes. Yes. All right. So number three, what are they doing? They is um, clean the clothes. Okay, they are washing the clothes. Yes? Yeah. Okay, how about number four? He is cold. Cold. They are feeling cold. Why? Why are they feeling cold? 
They have a water. It's cold. Uh huh. They have a water or their clothes are wet. That's why they feel cold. Okay. Let's see now the. Oh, what happened? All right, now, Duke. So let's have some questions here. What are the boys doing now? Swimming. So they are swimming under the sea or under the water. What are they looking for? The shell. They are looking for the shell? Yes. Next one, Duke. What are Sam and Nick doing now? Washing the clothes. They are sitting on some rocks. Or maybe they are washing their t-shirts. What's Nick taking from the water? Washing clothes. Okay. They are taking their clothes or their t-shirts. Now, Duke. What are Sam and Nick doing now? Is the, I don't know. Mm, look at the picture. What are they doing now? I don't know. Oh, they are standing next to a bus stop. All right. Next one, Duke. Where are they going, you guess? Going to home. Yes, maybe they are going home. Very good. All right, now, Doug, so let's complete the sentences about the story. Write one, two, or three words. So the story is about the wet t-shirts, okay? So read now, Doug. And his brother Nick went to the big table table and flowed out on the sand and played football day and ran and jumping into the water. Example, Nick had a brother howling sound. Before that swim, the boy had a big of Okay, so example, Nick has a brother called Sam. Question number one, do Before they swim, the boy has a game of ball. After they game, the ball swimming to the pool. Oh, what is it? Before their swim, the boys had a game of... Who is... Two is swimming and one is ball. Yeah, what what kind of game? What? They had a game of, what do you call the game? Ball. What ball? The game of the ball. Yeah, there are a lot of games of a ball. What kind of game? What kind of game? Mm. Did you read it correctly? Did you understand the story that you have read? The answer is there. Mm, okay. What kind of game did they play? Basketball. I don't know that. It's football. Oh, you don't understand what you read? There is in the story. It's played football. Next one. After their game, the boys blank into the sea. Jumping. Jump. Very good. Next one, Duke. Continue reading. The boys swim under the water all the shame and see any. Then they run again and climb onto 
something. They are there and watching something, mostly only something orange. This is what the mother did in her head in and said, Look, it's your orange t shirt. Sam, you put it to me of the shoe. Snake as I'm looking at Nemo as back up again. Uh, they swam under the water. And then I uh, uh, said there was the same. <laughs> Finish reading. And under swam under the water. Swam under the water. Oh, wait a minute. You have to read first. Number three, Nick and Sam. I read that. No, you just said swam in the water. You didn't read Nick and Sam. Okay. Do you want to read it or do you want teacher to read it? Yeah. All right. Nick and Sam looked for sea animals and... Look for sea animals. The boy swam under the water. And they look for sea animals and shells in the water. Then, okay, number four, look. Then the two boys sat on a rock to watch a sailing boat. That's correct. Number five. Next time. Nick Bell saw Sam's orange. Again? Orange. orange. It's orange t shirt. Okay, let's continue now, Duke. Then. The Nick saw his green t shirt and the sea. Two and that. Wait, Sam. Yeah, they brought me. The brother Sam walked to the beach with their wet t shirt. Then they walked there. Only one of the shoe and one sandwich with their fancy to Sam said. They walked into the bus stop and there was cool and proud of the bus home when they went to prison about that day. First, mom said to not be more careful, but we are happy and you were both said that already. Okay, <clears throat> finish reading. Yeah. All right, so number six, Doug. The boys lost three of their... Wet t-shirt. Their shoes in the water, number seven. Make a boy. Stone by you. 
stood by a Uh, what do you think? Stood by a stone by a I don't know. Stood by a bus stop. Okay. I think you are not focused to to read the are you CP? Oh, why do I you read it, but why can't you answer? And you always say, I don't know. Hmm. Do you, do you still want? I, I, still? I read, but I don't understand. Oh, because you're not focused. You just read it, but you don't understand it. So when you have to read, you of course, you have to understand it, though. Okay? They present were happy. Uh, what is it? The parents were happy because the boys were <laughs> Well, they told parents about the day mom said I want to be more careful Getting happy on a boy's stand and out it Ah, uh, because the boys were when they told their present about their day. Mom said, "You must be more careful. We'd be happy if you both said that that it did." Okay, safe is only the answer, but you read it everything. All right, now, Doug, let's answer this one. So, example number one, after a swim, you can dry your body with this. So, the answer is a towel. Okay, now, Doug, how about number two? He should tell the jacket. Okay, t-shirt, trousers, and skirts are example of this. What are what they call them? Jacket. They call we call them clothes. Okay, next one, Duke. This is under your feet when you walk on a beach. What's that? Under your feet when you walk to the beach. Sand. Very good. That's correct. Sand. You can climb up onto these. They're often gray. Mountain. It's rocks. Number five, you need a ticket to travel on this in town. Cinema. It's a bus. Number six, these people are your mother and father. What do you call them? Um, mother and father. What do you call them? I don't know. You call them parents. Okay, so you got one point here, Duke, and that is the sand. All right, wait a minute. Okay, next one, Duke. So let's talk about you and the beach. 
All right, now, though, question number one. Do you live near a beach? No. No, is it far from your house? No. Okay, next one, Doug. Are you good at swimming? Yes. When do you go to the beach? Summer. In the summer, yes, that's correct. What things do you do on the beach or what? What are the things that you like doing on the beach? Play sand castle, building sand castle, see the field, still swimming. Okay. Drink so what? Drink coconut water. So what's what do you think is better, Duke? Swim in the sea or swim in the swimming pool? Swimming in the sea. Why do you say so? It's um, not not a swimming pool that has very, very um, have water. But the swimming pool have um, not have water. I have oh. water, but but not not uh, not many. Oh, you say um, swimming in the beach or swimming in the sea is better because there are a lot of water, unlike in the swimming pool. Right? Okay. Okay. That's a good answer. Next one, Doug. What's your favorite sea animal? Fish, shark, whale, or dolphin? Fish, shark, whale, and dolphin. 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 Oh, you like dolphin? Okay. Why do you like dolphin? I like dolphin. It's very good. It's it's very good. Okay, why yeah. do you say it's very good? I like that it's beautiful and uh, and big. Ah, uh, because they are big and beautiful. Okay, some 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 people say that dolphins are cute also. All right, next one, Duke. Are you scared of any sea animals? Which one? Frightened of a sea animal. Yeah, are you frightened of any sea animals? Frightened means you're scared. Frightened means you're scared. Are you scared of any sea animals? No. No. Really? How about shark? No. You're not afraid of a shark? Yes. Okay, that's good because you are very brave. All right, next one, Duke. Read the sentences. All right, so now, Duke, you have to complete the blanks here, okay? So, number one, take something off the floor. What do you mean by that? Take something out of the floor. Rubber or something. Oh, what is it? Put. Put something else. Put something else. Something it's, else. It picks something up. How about number two? Swim. Number two is have a swim. So what do you mean by that? I don't know. Okay, it means go for a swim. How about number three? Take a bus. What do you mean by take a bus? Check. Go to see the bus. Take a bus. 
Clean a bus. No, another one. Try another one. Close the door. Yes. Oh, there's no door. It's a bus. Close bus. It's yeah. catch a bus. Number four, go for a walk. What is that? What? Hmm. Oh, the next one. Go for a walk. What is that? Have a walk. Yes, that's correct. It's have. A walk. Next one. Put on your clothes. Get a dress. Again, no. get. No. Yeah, get is correct. Get. Dress. Get dressed. Okay, that's correct. Number six, do. Go to the shop. Getting something. Go. Go something. Something. Okay, you change it. Go. It's not something. It's. Go to my blanket. Oh, one more, one more. Go. Going. Go. Sight. Go. I don't know. Go. I don't know. It's go shopping. All right. Anyway, you got two points too. Okay. Our next one. Now, look, find ten, 10 words that sound like the same. Okay. So you have to match the two words that sound like the same. Okay. Hello. No way. Breathing. Hmm. Okay, I saw your answer red and red. That's correct. Right. 
No. 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 Không có đâu ghét nhưng mà mình quên rồi. Yes. Where? Where? Okay. Okay, Where? let's see. All right. Now, Duke, I, you, I want you to read or say out the words. Okay. Hair, hair. Okay. H A E. Okay. Okay. Yes. No. Again. C C C. Okay. Sun sun. Mm-hmm. R and R. Okay. Right, 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 right. Okay. Where where? Where where? Four four. Pear pear. Okay. Red red. Mm -hmm. red. Okay. All right. Very good. So you have found all the pears here on the screen. So. Okay. Got eleven points. The. All right. Next one, let's continue. Okay, now, Duke, I want you to find the differences between the two pictures. Find the differences between the pictures. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> Yes, we can we can sing, we can dance, yes, we can, we can sing, okay? And then... All right, is that finished? Yes. All right, now, Doug, explain it. What are the five differences that you can see? Is that five? What? Is that five? Yes. All right. Explain it now, Doug. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, One, two, 12, three, four. four. It's only four. Okay. Well, let's see first. Can you explain now, Doug? Seven, six, seven, six. Seven, six, 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 six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, play with me. One, two, three, I finish. All right, so now Dick, explain your answer. Let's 
Okay. All right. Explain now the number one. What is it? It's the it is is play the ball and uh, sit down. Uh, the the hat in the head and the hat in the sand. Mm -hmm. The the dolphin is jumping. The dolphin is swim. Mm -hmm. The dog at the three girls and two girls. The the tree at uh, the the flat the floor is uh uh blue and the floor and it's purple. Okay. All right. Very good. So, let's see. All right. These are the answers. Number one, the band and the boy are looking at the shell. They're playing with a beach ball, too. The towel is purple and yellow, blue and pink. Next one, the hat is on the boy's head and on the sand. Oh, there is a dolphin and a whale in the sea. So, well, we have boxed five different sets. So, I will give you five points, the all right, next one, Duke. Let's see. All right. Well, anyway, let's skip this one. Wait for me. Yeah. Okay. Right. And the next one. Okay, here, Duke, it's open now. All right, now, Doug, so let's start with the listening activity. So this is part number one. Listen and draw a line. There is one example. Okay, Doug, so you have to finish listening to it because teacher cannot stop it, okay? Okay. All right, let's start now. Sing, we dance. Yes, we can. Look at part one. Look at the picture. Yes. And look. There is one example. A lot of people in the market. Do you know any of them? Yes. That's my friend Fred. He's wearing a red sweater. Look, he's buying some sausages. That's right. He likes eating them for breakfast. See the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. He's talking to that man who's wearing a blue t-shirt. Oh, that's Sally. She's buying some fruit, I think. Do. That's John there. What's he doing? He's sitting down. I don't, I don't speak, oh, yes. I, I don't listen. It looks hot and tired. Okay, let's start from the start, the Okay. Part one. So, look at part one. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. What a lot of people in the market. Do you know any of them? Yes. That's my friend Fred. He's wearing a red sweater. Look, he's buying some sausages. That's right. He likes eating them for breakfast. Can you see the line? 
This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Who's that girl? Where? She's talking to that man who's wearing a blue T-shirt. Oh, that's Sally. She's buying some fruit, I think. Two. That's John there. What's he doing? He's sitting down under that tree. Oh, yes. He looks hot and tired. Three. I can see Jim. He's riding his bike. What's that in his hand? Um, he's eating an apple, I think. Oh, yes. <coughs> There's my friend Daisy. Where? She's standing next to that boy in blue jeans. Oh, yes. She's giving him an ice cream. Girl, the one who's looking what? in her bag. Oh, that's Jill. I like her hat. You need one on a sunny day like this. <laughs> yes, you do. Now listen to part one again. All right, let's check it now, Doc. So, number one. Um, Sally and the girl buying a fruit. Um, okay, that's wrong. Number two, John and the boy in the orange shirt sitting under the tree. That is correct. Next one, Jim and the boy on the bike eating an apple. Correct also. Daisy and the girl in the pink dress giving an ice cream to the boy. Okay, that's correct. Um, well, this is wrong. Next one, Jill and the girl looking in her bag wearing a hat. Okay, you got two points here, Doug. Okay. Okay. All right, now, Doug, so let's continue this one again on Friday because we don't have enough time, okay? Okay. All right. Goodbye, Doug. Good night. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye, see you again. Yes. Uh, I want us, us, that's a Friday. Good night. Good night.